All right, so we've got the goods. I'm gonna go right to the 3,000 milliliter beaker. Um, <clears throat> I think that's gonna be a little overkill with exactly what we need. However, I'll be able to get everything in here all at once. Let's see, so we started with 100 milliliters, or we started with 100 or 97 grams of, of this shield here. Now let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna start with, I don't know, let's go 500 milliliters, probably a little less because we have, uh, um, you know, we got material in there. There we go. I accidentally brought my uh, goggles upstairs last night. I was looking for them. Where did I put them? Anyways, we're going to go with uh, 100 milliliters. of nitric and I'm going to try to get this on <clears throat> the side that doesn't have actually let me back this up here all right let's try that again um, I'm going to pour it right into here because I can actually measure my hundred milliliters and I'll have more control of where this goes there we go <clears throat> Because I want it to go right into the distilled water, the majority of it anyways, versus right on the material. There we go. You see how I missed that spot? So I didn't want that to happen with all of it. Give it a good stir. I'm going to keep this out because we're going to need that. We need some heat. I'm going to crank that up all the way. And uh, we'll keep that out because I'm sure we're going to have to add at least another 100. Maybe two. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Well, it's always something. My uh, LED light just gave it up. <clears throat> I think I've got an extra one upstairs. So. I will uh, go ahead and fix that but I wanted to show you here we got a nice reaction it did take a little while to get going I mean we do have a, a 5 to 1 ratio here so uh, no question it's gonna take a little while huh? but she kicked in finally and uh, yeah all right let me go get that LED crisis averted ended up just being the power supply so which I don't blame it probably uh well it lives its whole life in a pretty harsh environment but so i just swapped that out and we've got light so that's what she looks like so far it's been probably like 45 seconds since the last time i started recording but she's doing good she's doing good Let's see what we got our solution up here up to now 116 52, 51 Celsius. That seems a little odd, but uh, seems like there's two different temperatures. Ah, it's probably getting two different temps from the assortment in there. But the uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's getting kind of steamy in there, so you can't see too much. <clears throat> but uh, just the condensation and the gases is starting to consume the top so the top of that is now starting to turn all yellow um, 
and getting attacked by the nitric. So I don't quite have a, I just have my thousand milliliter beaker and it barely fits on there. So it doesn't fall through. I tested that just to make sure, you know, like if, so I don't like accidentally drop it and splash all that stuff all on me. Uh, so it won't fit that way, but it'll be, uh, definitely be fun to get out of there if they go in there with my fingies. Of course, got my gloves when I do that, but get a nice blue solution. I'll move you closer here. But we're just gonna let this uh, sit. <clears throat> the next time uh, you'll see me is when I add some more nitric. All right, perfect timing. Looks like we gotta add a little bit more nitric. And get gloved up and my goggles on. Let's see here. All right. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put, let's say, another hundred in there. Very slowly. Oop, I got my camera over. Alright. Little bits at a time. Got reaction. It's another reason why I wanted to use the bigger beaker. There's a lot less area there for. Uh, I got about 50 in, so. There we go. Slow that uh, that rate down. And we'll let, uh, let that nitric eat. All right, it's time to put that other uh, 50 milliliters in. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna give this a, a stir here quick, just to see what we got, because it doesn't look like it's sinking. Um, kind of what I was hoping for anyway. Let's see here. And that solution is really blue. There we go. We'll let it do its thing for a while. <clears throat> All right. Well, so we're at 200 milliliters of nitric. And we still have quite a bit of material left here. So we're going to add, let's see here, I'm going to do a mixture this time. I'm going to do 200 milliliters 
of distilled water. And 200 of nitrate. So we should dilute it a little bit. Plus give uh, all these metals somewhere to go. Now the solution is hot, so before, yeah. before I pour that in, let's get you back where you can see. There we go. Alright, so now we've got 400 milliliters total of nitric. Alright, let's see where that gets us. Alright, we're getting somewhere here. Let's see. I don't know how far we got. But there's a definite noticeable difference in, well, hold on, I might be talking uh, too soon. Let's go like this. Oh yeah, no, we did good. Just a couple little bits left in there. Um, there's still some reaction going on as well. So what I think I'm going to do is just going to do smaller increments. I'm going to do, f uh, I don't know if I want to do 50. I think we're going to go to 20. Ooh, so there's some pieces I missed to take out. <laughs> That's right, the filter would do that. So we got a little left in there. That solution is thick. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. So we're going to go with 100 milliliters of water, distilled water, and we still have reaction. It's just not nearly as aggressive as it was. Oh, that spun on me. Almost lost my uh, flask. Alright, and there's 50. Four fifty. I'm not going to use all of that. Pour in little bits at a time. So I think we're uh, we're coming down to the end here. All right, we're getting. We're getting down there to the nitty gritty. We still have a little bit of nitric going on. Our reaction with the nitric, I should say. Let's see here.
All right, I'd say we got it all. this anymore. Need this, that, clear up the workstation a little bit. All right. It's getting uh, used and abused, no question about that. The sulfuric acid actually eats it up pretty good. So we are just about at a thousand milliliters. Let's say 750. I'm going to dilute this a little bit. I don't want to put a thousand. And somebody in the comments on uh, my last video brought up to my attention that it could be palladium. So, let's, uh, let's get a quick test on that. Let's see here. Mm, it's hard to tell. I got a little bit of green, but I think that's just the copper. Uh, the copper in the uh, HCL in here. Mixing. Let's do a quick test here though. So I'm gonna grab my pipe that. Alright. Grab some HCL. Oh, yeah. Say we got a good amount of silver in there. Sweet. Almost need a bigger bench. All right, I'm gonna have to let this cool. Um, I'm just gonna turn that uh, filter into pulp. So I'll come back when this is done. All right, we will put one uh, thing of ice in there. See if we can cool that down a little faster. Add 
and just a little debris, nothing crazy. That's some of that, uh, there's like a, it's supposed to be, well, in, in some low voltage wires you've got like a pull wire to kind of like help assist get rid of the shielding or the casing and they have that in there and I'm not sure if that's what the purpose is for but it doesn't work with, with that uh, with that shield on there so I'm actually really interested to see how much silver we're gonna get out of this um, it seems like there's quite a bit in there at least for the hundred grams that we got um, so I, I don't know uh, it, I mean we're gonna know in a minute here <laughs> no question about that Here. A little prep. So the next time we're in here, all I gotta do is dump it on in. to go here. Is our filter in this bad boy off? And hopefully with that little bit of distilled water we added, uh, the filtration process goes pretty quick. Which it definitely is. <clears throat> there also might be a little leftover nitric in here too. I wouldn't be surprised if there is. So, um, if my copper gets eaten up, Ooh, I'm gonna pull these out. These look like, these are the inner windings. All right. And I wanna do a little exploring on them because they're about an inch in length. And I still see wire inside, so shredding them isn't going to work. It's not going to eat in there, which doesn't surprise me. Solution is crystal clear, but is it dark? Definitely gonna have to add some uh, distilled water to that. It's been a while since I brought the light table out. Uh, well, now we got this solution cleared out. Ooh, I'm glad I brought that light table out. I can see some nasty stuff in here I was gonna forget. Let's see 
here is just leaking all over the place. We're going to add quite a bit more. All right, it's time for the copper core. Little bit of an update. Looks like it's uh, cementing quite nicely. Well, I think I'm just gonna let this be till tomorrow morning and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, and here it is. So this is gonna be uh, this is set all overnight. Let's see if we can get all this uh, silver off of there. Nice clean copper. Alright, let's let that settle for a minute, um, and then I can start pouring out this uh, electrolyte. Um, we'll go ahead and filter it out so I can catch any sediment on there. And then uh, we'll move this over to a smaller beaker so I can go into cleaning it. Alright, it always looks like so much. And then uh, you clean it up and it seems like it just goes away but we're also in a much bigger uh, beaker than I'm usually working with so maybe it's just a figment of my imagination Actually, yeah, that looks like there's quite a bit in there. All right, had to clean that out. Had some nitric acid in there. We didn't want to uh, digest any more of the silver. It's going the wrong way. Lost a couple of chunks, nothing crazy. All right, so we're gonna go from a 3,000 milliliter beaker to a 500 for cleaning purposes.
Come on, baby. You can do it. And we finally got it six hours later. Right. A couple of distilled water baths here. So we can flush some of that uh, copper out of there. Pretty close here. Almost sucked that right into the pump. Man, look at that color. Clear it up a little bit. All right, well, let's uh, evaporate this and uh, see what we can come up with. Well, 
Well, we had a little bit of a catastrophic failure there with uh, the burner. It is uh, no longer operational. So we uh, get to dissect this thing soon. Maybe we can make it operational again. I wonder if uh, it just loosened up from the heat and cool. The expansion and contraction. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, so I got the uh, the Corning hot plate um, as backup. But I have no idea what my temperatures are. So now I kind of have to pay attention to it because I really don't want to overheat this thing. So I'll keep checking on it just to make sure we're okay still. All right, so I've got my setting here on three and a half and temperatures are like 140 in there. So I might have to take that down a notch. What I find works best for not getting it stuck on the bottom is to stir it. And you know what's crazy? It's just like cooking. <laughs> you don't want uh, you don't want your eggs to stick to the frying pan when you're scrambling them? Gotta give them a stir. It's funny. It's, uh, simple as that. Alright, just a little bit longer and I'd say we're, we'll be good to go. Um, now I know that wasn't the best way to clean it, right? Uh, I should have boiled, well, I've got a silver cell, so I'm going to let the silver cell take care of the silver. Um, and I know it'll probably go through electrolyte faster, um, which isn't the end of the world because it's, it's quite easy to make new. And, uh pull the silver we have out of the electrolyte anyways, especially with the amount that I'm dealing with. It's not like I'm, uh, you know, dealing with kilos and kilos and kilos of this stuff. So it's, it's not the end of the world if I have to make a new batch every time I run the silver cell. You know, it takes me roughly two months, I'd say, to get uh, three months, not two months, I'd say, to get anything worth putting into the silver cell. So it's not a super fast process for me. But if you wanted to clean that thoroughly, uh, you could rinse it with, you know, boiling distilled water or as hot as distilled water as you can. Um, you can boil it right in there. And you can also put some uh, hydrochloric acid. You could do a boil there too, and that will help eliminate the uh, any little bits of copper that could remain. So. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean it up till the solution is uh, mostly clear and run it through the cell. All right. Well, I think we're uh, pretty much wrapped it up. I got this uh, dehydrated. Let's get a weight on there. Zero that out. I'm going to turn my vacuum pump off. There we go. Ooh, that bad boy is hot. Let's see. Wait, I have a tool for that. Look at that.
Get the inside a brush quick. I got some splattered on the sides, not too much though. I don't think it's going to add up to too much here. At least what's in the beaker. All right, and there we are. I know you can't see that. Let's see, here we go like this. 4.3, 4.29, sweet. Out of 100 grams, not bad. A four percent yield. That's pretty good. Well, with the amount of copper that's there, it actually might be worth trying with the uh, sulfuric, uh, sulfuric nitric bath. At least the uh, the shield. Anyway, we'll have to test the inside wire, see if that's any different. But uh, I have to strip all that yet. I'm a little behind on that. And tomorrow's your guys' video, and I've actually been getting some pictures and stuff. It's awesome. I really appreciate you guys uh, sending it, uh, sending something. Oh, let me uh, let me go upstairs. Well, I'll talk at you. All right. Well, that uh, that sums that up. <sighs> Cheers. Ah, that sums that up. We had a uh, a pretty good time there. Um, had 97 grams to start with and ended up with four. So 4% 4 yield we'll go with, roughly right on there, a little bit more. Um, so that's good. But we know the copper content is, is fairly high. So now that gives us a couple of different opportunities. So I think I am gonna try the sulfuric nitric acid method. Um, I was, a little weary on that but I think it'll work here it's pretty um, I think it's pretty pure copper or uh, silver so I think it'll work fairly well and it's pretty thin so uh, unlike the contacts that we tried it you know should work much better and it would also be a good contender for the anodes and you wouldn't even have to add any copper you could just melt it right into an anode and put it in the copper cell you'd have uh, pure copper you drop all the slimes out and you know especially big batches of that you know if you got a if you make a big cell you melt all those into an anode and you just kind of let that cell eat um, I mean, that would work too. Uh, definitely a good set it and forget it kind of thing. If time is on your hands or maybe you're busy and you've got uh, you know other things to do, uh, like paint a nursery so you don't have to look at the holes. I plan on doing that this weekend. Uh, I was supposed to work Saturday, but my customer called back and said, everything's good, we'll push it off till next weekend. And uh, so it's a perfect time. I'll uh, get a good jump on it. Hopefully you get a better background. Well, hopefully I can go back on the couch in the living room here in a minute, but yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. Hey, thanks again, Justin. Um, I'll do more. I'll do a couple more videos on this, so it's not done yet, but we're going to have, uh, um, I'm probably going to be low key here this weekend and tomorrow's your guys' videos. And like I was saying, I've got awesome pictures from, and, uh, Looking forward to showing them to you. So we've got some different people this time too. A couple new people, which is always good. Um, if you want a chance to win that bar, go ahead and send me those pictures. And uh, tomorrow's, well, no, today's Thursday. Whoa. So if you get them into me tonight, I will uh, make sure I get them in there for you tomorrow. And remember, we're not doing a weekly challenge, it's a monthly challenge. So everybody who partic participate, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> participates today 
Um, and to do this Friday video, you'll be drawn into the last weekend of the month. And that'll be your chance to win. And this includes people from across the pond. So unless we have a customs issue or something. Um, I don't know if I could send anything to Russia. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm sure somebody will come knocking at my door. <laughs> but, all right. Well, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.